Jack Thriller City. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You might need a theme song for your shit. Check this out. Ah, Turn it right now. Let this shit seep in. JackThriller.com. We creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left. Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com. Do it all night. Hit the website. Hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. Okay. 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 In a new Jack Thriller city. It's all about me, bitch. Okay. Come on now. You better tell him, Wesley. That's right. It's about that time again, man. It's New Jack Thriller City. And I am your captain, the captain of this enterprise and whatnot. And we finna have a amazing day. But first, let me give it up to 85 South, man, who powered this whole vessel and everything. And um, we do this every week, y'all. You know, uh, Channel 85. Um, uh, uh, then on YouTube, then on jackthriller.com. Yeah, that's what I do right here. You see the outfit right here, man. Got my school clothes on. You know, it's only right I promote my brand. It is what it is and stuff. But we have a phenomenal show today. You know, I got my cuzzo with the mosto, man. You know what I'm saying? The inventor of the Soldier Boy dance and whatnot, the crank that yank, and all kind of other dances. The shorty low, LO, that dance, all that. You know, all the dances and stuff. This is what he do. Y'all give it up for Lil Playboy. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Now, also, man, I got one of the baddest chicks in the world, man. She is uh, also piloting this vessel. She is the co-pilot today, and she is on her shit. Got her new school clothes together, man. She has ShayStar.com. You, you know what I'm saying? You didn't heard her on Shade 45, man. And she is on New Jack Thriller City right here today in the A. Give it up for Shay Star. <laughs> A.K.A. Day. Hey, Come on now. Smooth operator. Woo! Don't play with me, okay? Okay, let me tell you something, man. Hey, we, we got a Florida native in here today, man. Another this guy one. can rap. He can, He's an MC. Uh, 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 he comes by way of uh, 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 Gainesville in Miami, Florida, Dayton County. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he, he didn't <laughs> taught these motherfuckers how to get joint custody. You know what I'm saying? Death to all the slave masters. Man, I got the one, the only, the incomparable, the immaculate, the man, the myth, and the legend. He done been to hell and back and got the t-shirt and going his own his way to heaven, the highway to heaven. You know what I'm saying? He here with us at New Jack Thriller City. Y'all give it up for my man, your man, our man, Keith Wallace. Yes, uh, how you doing, Jack? Man, what's up, KW? What's going on with you, boy? Uh, first of all, I, uh, I appreciate you for having me on your show, brother. Man, thank you for even coming, man. You, Like I said before, and I always say this, you could be anywhere in the world, you know what I'm saying, doing famous shit, but you came to do it with us, man. Uh, and we're going to do our best to create the vibe to keep you in your vibe. And let's vibe. Um, can, I, can I leave with a prayer? Would you mind? Yeah, I, I, I would like to pray, brother. Uh, okay, heads down. Set the mood, man. Get the father up in the building, Yes, man. sir. Father God, we come to you. We come to you humbly, Father God. First and foremost, we would like to ask for forgiveness for any transgression that we may have caused against your name, knowingly and unknowingly, Father God. Forgive us. We give you praise and thanks, Father God, for everything that you've done in our life so far and the things that you are about to do, Father God, that we cannot even see or fathom, Father God. We thank you in advance, Father. We pray, Father God, that we have a smooth show. We pray after everything is done, Father God, that you watch over us as we go back to our loved ones. We pray, Father God, in your name. In the name of your son, Yeshua, Father God. Amen. 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 That's all right. Now back to the cussing and fussing. Let's get <laughs> in. Let's get in. <laughs> okay. We going in. Yeah. We going in. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, with my twin, man. KW, what's up, man? How man. you feeling today? Where, 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 where are you mentally, my boy? Broken hearts and crooked smiles. Um, you know. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, start, we'll start there. <laughs> Um, I just dropped the tape. Um, I dropped the tape on um, July. Um, broken heart, crooked, um, broken heart, crooked smiles. Okay. I dropped that in July, right? Um, I didn't do any promo. You know, um, out of all three of my platforms combined, I have about a million followers on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok combined. You better, about, you better have us on all three of them, mother. Oh, I, listen, I'm, you don't be playing. I'm brother. posting you everywhere. I, I want, I want <laughs> niggas don't know me in Florida. Listen, I'm posting you everywhere, my brother, all and. Right. And um, when I released the tape, okay, they went out and they actually purchased it, and and it landed me. You got that bread? It land. Yeah, it's, it's on the way. You know how the world is. Oh yeah, every three yeah. months. You it landed me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it landed me in the top forty on iTunes. Wow! Like okay. right there with Twenty One Savage, Drake, it, and I was like, because when I drop my videos, every video it going viral off the gate. You feel me? And they, they, they fucking with you like that, bro? Oh, um, um, all praises to the, the most high. The long most way. Definitely. You feel me? The long way. Most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. Yeah. But hey, man. it's a difference from like shares and views right. versus right. somebody actually purchasing, purchasing mm. what you're selling. Do it again. Mm -hmm. There's a difference now, you from like now. shares and views hey, man. than purchasing it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Somebody can hit like and don't even listen to nothing you say. They just right. can like it That's because right. they follow you. Mm -hmm. Or that my dog like and keep scrolling. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't even know what you were talking about. Ain't read Amen. nothing. You feel me? But when you actually have a product to present them and they actually support you, man, that's, it's a difference from a fan and a supporter. That's right. And a follower. A lot of people just you got to break them down. Got a lot of followers. You got to break them down now. But it's like okay, you got a, a hundred thousand followers, but you got ten comments. Do it again. Oh. What they doing? Mm. What they you doing? You feel me? Come on now. You 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 got twenty thousand views. Amen. Uh, 20,000 views, yes, but sir. 300 likes. Mm -hmm. Some bot comments. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some, mm -hmm. ain't, some ain't right. One of these things just <laughs> don't belong here. You feel me? Yes. So, yeah. um, the adding ain't adding. All praises to the most high man that he actually put me in a lane mm -hmm. that's necessary. Amen. For our community. That's right. The lane of man is so necessary. Okay. You feel me? We okay. have conscious artists, but. The delivery is everything. Nobody mm. don't want to, um, with, uh, with, um, um, minutes inside. We ain't trying to hear that shit, Sharif. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. It's Shake like, shit up. oh, it's exactly. It's yeah. like the delivery mm -hmm. is everything, yeah. man. It's like how you delivering it. You Did got the white mom. Did y'all know? Is that, Lil Johnny, sit down, Lil Johnny. Lil Johnny still playing. That's right. Sit down, look. Black mom, sit your black. It's effective. Delivery is everything. Every, yeah. I believe her. <laughs> I believe when she said like yeah, that. Yeah, man. Definitely. So it's just it's just a blessing, man, and and it's an ongoing. It's, it's not. It's not. It's not. You can't clock out. No. When you putting in work for the community, mm -hmm. there's no such thing as you off work. No. It's constantly, man, because somebody is always going through something. So if you want to call yourself a vessel for the Most High, mm -hmm. and and don't get it twisted, brother. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't box myself in, you know what I'm saying? Not. No Christian, Ain't no Muslim. I don't do any of, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a child of the most right. high. Yeah. You feel me? And I love black people. Mm. What about white people? I love my people first. That's right. I'm going to put my people first, man. And, and that's, and I believe that's what I'm sitting here to do. And it's no days off. That's right. It's very stressful at times. You know, um, as an independent artist, you know, it's, it's some days when it's like, Man, this ain't working. It ain't no paper coming from this and ain't. But you gotta understand this. What you what you doing it for, beloved? What you doing it for? I'm God. I'm gonna take care of you. You take care of my people. You take care of my people. I'm gonna take care of you because I'm gonna make them take care of you. Mm -hmm. So present them something. You doing all these viral videos? Where the music at? Get them something to buy. And that's when I dropped that album, man. And he he made black people show up for me, man. And I love y'all for that, bro. How do you yeah. how do you feel about like you know how music right now is doing like this whole teeter totter thing because the the labels are now saying that oh we don't want to invest in the killing and the the drug selling music now we want to go Afro beats and now we want to you know invest into the conscious music how do you feel as though you fit into all of that now that the industry is kind of shifting to a um, more positive nature that's a great question and at the same time like me personally 
as far as how I feel about just in general versus how I feel about it as me being an artist, it's like two different things because I myself personally, I don't really consider myself, um, I do music, but I don't consider myself like an artist. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Because I'm not, this is not, this is not my job. This is me every single day. Uh, I don't want to say any names, but this person is a rapper. That's his job. That's mm -hmm. his job. And he actually hired by somebody. That's his actual job. This is me every single day. I go to Chicago. I just had a meeting with um with the vice lords in Chicago to try to stop the gang violence in the in the community. I'm from Miami, they man. They ran your ass out of there. No, they didn't. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I'm gonna tell you why they didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna yes. keep it real. I'm gonna tell you why they didn't. Cause at the same time, man, I was a I was bad. Before before I before I with my eyes up. We seen your mug shot. Mm -hmm. I don't man, come <laughs> on, man. I done sat for murder charges, man. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like I was a I was horrible. I did so much bad stuff to black people that now it's like I just wanna like bro, I'm sorry, bro. I love y'all, bro. Like I talked to the bro, cause I was there. So that's I ain't no artist. Whatever they got going on in the industry. Not to say nothing about the mm -hmm. question, mama, but whatever they got going on in the industry, that's what they got going on in the industry. Hey, DJ T-Rex. Yes, sir. Hey, you know what time it is, right? What time is it? Man, it's street heat time with DJ Wizard Craig. <laughs> What's going on, man? It's your main man, Wizard Craig on the twos and ones just for fun, aka DJ I Am Somebody, giving you that street heat. First, we're going to start off with my main man, Diddy, dropped the Love album. A whole incredible tape full of RB records. You know what I'm saying? My favorite song is Tough Love, featuring my man Sway Lee. Got all the newest RB artists on there. Even got some folks like Mary J. Blige on that record, so definitely get at a spin. We got Earth Gang. They dropped a single called Die Today for the new album, Earth Gang vs. The Algorithm. Make sure y'all go and check that out. Atlanta's very own, you know what I'm saying, Street Heat. Doja Cat dropped a song, too, called Paint the Town Red. I like that song because it got a sample from Dionne Wark, Walk On By. But, you know, a lot of people going to mess with that uh, Isaac Hayes record, Walk On By. They both got some soul to it, but definitely check that out. We're going to give a little shout-out to my main man, Booney. He dropped a tape called Cheap Liquor. He represented the south side of Atlanta on the independent side. And then we gonna give a shout out to my main man, Jay-Z. He dropped the Magna Carta Holy Grail 10 years ago. If you had a Samsung phone, you might've had it on your phone. You might still have it too, if you got one. And that's the street heat. Because I don't consider myself a part of the industry and I don't, and I don't disrespect nobody that's in the industry, but that's their job. When you're in the industry, that's your job. So you feel like you were sitting here to do a, a service? A service to my people. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I feel that I'm a vessel. I'm just a vessel. I'm just, I feel like I'm a vessel. I'm not a Christian. I'm not a Catholic. I'm not, I don't, I don't label myself like that. Non-denominational. You feel me? I just mm -hmm. love black people. I just love my people. You feel me? And I feel that, that the young brothers in the streets, that they can relate to me. You feel me? It, it was, a, I'm not going to say his name, but... He from the label QC. He an artist, right? He came to Miami to shoot a video. So they came to my hood. So they reached out to me. Hey, man, we got such and such pulling up in the hood. I'm like, bro, y'all ain't got to check in with me. I ain't even in the streets no more. Oh, we just want to make sure he's safe. I'm like, all right, cool. Say less. And I feel that's what they should have did to that brother from Atlanta when he went to Houston, man. They should have did that, man. Absolutely. Them, I'm on tape. Them niggas don't run Houston, man. Because if they did, and if they, if Houston respected them, that brother wouldn't have died, man. Houston don't respect them people, man. They ain't got, they don't respect them. When I pulled up to that hood, that brother had, he had chains, Rolexes, they had money, and the vultures was out there. Man, I told, man, I stood right out there. I said, man, ain't nobody going, I said, man, that man black like you, he going to shoot his video, and he going to go home. That's exactly what he did. He shot his video, went home. Sorry to say it like this, but like three weeks after that, he got shot like 10 times. But it wasn't in my city. Right. 
Mm. It wasn't in my city. It wasn't on my watch. And I'm not no, no kingpin or nothing like that. Man, right is right. For, for what? For what? Nigga, go get a job, nigga. For what? Let this man come shoot his video and go home. That's what a real OG do. You come to a city, man, and make sure you go home safe, man. It ain't no, oh, you got to check. No, bro, that's some sucker stuff, bro. A real OG, when you pull up to their city, they're going to make sure you get back home. Did they try to uh, give you anything for you to be there and make sure that you was, they was good? Like At all. Because God bless the day at Wavy Navy Pool. He was with QC. And he died in my city. He from my hood. It's, it's just like somebody got to be, bro, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, man. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong, man. It's like you know better. And if you know better, you should do better. But we caught up in the ma The internet is the matrix. It's the fake world. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. online, you can be anything but your actual self. When you cut the camera off, when you log off, that's the real you. When you log off, that's the real you. Nobody can't see you. The nails come off, the lashes, that's the real you. They can't see that. All that gangster tough money at your hip, you, nah, man, shut up. <laughs> I was listening to Cavs, when, shout out to Cavs, that my homeboy from the, when, when Cavs was up here, I was listening. I did nine years, man. Nine? What, nine, man. Yeah. The chain game. Yeah. What did you do? Trying to fed the chain game where they will stab you for nothing. Is that, is that nine consecutive or nine. You, between your whole listen, life? Span? I did six, about listen, nine years. I did six straight. Yeah. I got out, caught a murder charge, did, did. and I had to go back. And fight it three you beat years that in the charge, though. You beat it, right? You feel, yeah, of course yeah. I beat it. I'm, I'm beat standing it. here right now, all praises to the most high. You feel me? But at the same time, <laughs> I was bad, man. So like Jack said, when I went to Chicago, like I don't feel I he walked with me. God walked with me and he's inside of me. I don't feel not no, I was worse than that, man. What them brothers doing, man. I done did that. That's my little brother, man. Like we done did that already. You feel me, man? My mama and my daughter died on the same day. My daughter was 12 years old, got hit by a car coming from school. My mama died that night. My little brother right there called me at 10 o'clock and said, Mama died when my daughter just died a few hours before. Same day. The same day. Wow. I ain't nobody came, man. I ain't, bro, it ain't nothing here. That sounds like uh, wow. a lot worse pain than any of the pain that you actually physically. Endure, like I heard you say before, um, like being stabbed in jail, stabbed in prison, shot in my neck, being shot in your neck. I couldn't imagine losing uh, two of the most important women, women in my life, absolutely, on the same yeah. day, man. And I see why you're so strong, and I see why you put that message out that you Passionate. put out in your freestyles and your music. I always knew that it was something, but I didn't know that story. It's like you got it going good, man. Uh, as of right now, it's like. Compared to your past, it's going good for you, bro. And and it's just nothing but like you said, praise to the most high, my dog. Like you really bro, and, it up and, 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 and that's why the best out of that situation. Bro, that's why I, when I go places, it's like I ain't got I lost my mom and my daughter. I ain't got nothing. What am I lose? My life? You ain't gotta put on for these folks. Nigga, I was facing life already. What what am I lose? If something happened to me, the world lost me, nigga. Mm -hmm. hmm. You feel me? What, I'm, what I got to lose? How many other kids you have? I got, I got a, glory be to God, this will happen. I got a son. I can't, of course, my son. After my daughter and my mama died, bro, I can't make this up, bro. After my mama and my daughter died, my son, mom, went into early labor. Wow. My son wasn't even supposed to be born. Man, my son was born at like six and a half months. He wasn't even supposed to make it. He was hooked up on all kinds of stuff. Two weeks after my mom and daughter died, my son came, two weeks. And that was supposed to, I took it as, when I opened my eyes, I took it as God, like, nigga, chill. Hey, what's going on? This your boy Jack Thriller, man, and uh, I'm trying to get in shape. So first off, what do I have to do? I have to change my diet. I have to change my mind, and I have to just change my, my, my appetite. So how do I do that? 
Factor Meals. That's right, Factor Meals, man. It's easy meals prepared in two minutes or less, you know, and uh, if you put in my code, factormeals.com slash thriller50. Hey, listen, it's really easy to do, and I'm going to help you out. Just use my code, factormeals.com slash thriller50 to get 50% off. That's right, factormeals.com. Use my code. Thriller 50, get 50% off. I'm Jack Thriller, and come on, lose weight with me. The journey begins today with easy to eat meals. You know, it is not just good for you, it tastes good too. Factor Meals, it's a factor. Get it? You saw what I did there? Head to factormeals.com slash thriller50. Use my code thriller50 to get 50% off. That's code thriller50 at factormeals.com slash thriller50 to get 50% off. You feel me? But when my mom and daughter died, I wasn't trying to hear nothing. Mm-hmm. It wasn't no such thing as God. I hated God because I felt he disrespected me? me. I felt he tried me. Mm-hmm. So I went praying. Bro, I went years without praying. I'm talking for years because I had beef with him. I wasn't praying, I wasn't reading no Bible. As much of the Bible as I know, I wasn't even reading it because I know the scriptures. King David say, man, your word I have written on the tables of my heart that I might not sin against thee. So I know the word, but to know and to not do to him, it is sin. So it's like, you know it, so what? So what? The light red. You know you don't pull the go and you ran it. So what? So what? You know that don't mean nothing. What you doing? You feel me? Hey, T-Rex. Yes, you know what time it is, right? Man, it's financial literacy time, man. Money Talks with Herman Doshe Jr. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Haitian CEO live in New Jack Thriller City and we are here for the financial tip of the day. If you're trying to get funded on your business side, here's some tips to maximize what you can do. You need to make sure you have a good FICO score, make sure you have a good profile, and make sure your business is set up properly. Let's go through that real quick. So it's not just having a good credit score. Herman, I'm getting a good credit, but I'm not getting funded. So you have a 680 minimum is what you need, but you also need a good credit profile. You need to have at least two credit cards on your credit report that are over two years old and the minimum of those cards are $2,500 because banks want to see what you did with your money before they give you money in your business name. And lastly, you want to make sure that your business is structured properly. You want to have a good business name, good business address, a real business phone number, and you want to make sure you have a website and a real business email. You got to look pro to these banks so they can give you pro money. I'll talk to you soon, live from the city. So I had to, when I dropped my first freestyle about my mom and my daughter on the trip that he threw a holiday beat, when I dropped it and it went viral and everybody was sharing it, Rick Ross, the game, everybody was sharing it. It was 2014. Then I was like, oh, snap. People, I was getting like two likes, bro. I'm dead serious. <laughs> and that had like 150,000 likes. Then before views even came on the internet. So I'm like, um, I'm like, all right, that was up. I did it again. I'm washing dishes. I was a dishwasher. Because when I beat my body, they threw me back. Bro, I violated probation with a murder charge, bro. Yeah. Wow. Niggas violate probation with, for weed. Bro, I VOP probation with a murder. What's VOP? Violation of probation. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, cool. I'm, I violated probation with a murder charge, bro. The average person violate probation, they might fail a piss test. Yeah. Fail a piss test. Right. minor. You know what I mean? Well, I violated with a with a with a monster. You feel me? So why did you kill kill? <laughs> I ain't killed yeah. nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't killed yeah. nobody. That's on tape, Mason. That's on tape. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Yeah. I was I was accused, was accused. <laughs> and acquitted of all charges. Okay, <laughs> but at the same time, on, 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 you still on some. Go ahead, brother. I was gonna say uh, when you sat there, did you was was you able to? Um, you said you was there for three years. I was there for, for the three, taking it to trial. Okay, so I never met anybody personally that went to jail and beat their case that sat there that long. You wasted three years of your life for something that. 
you didn't do. I took it to trial. Are they able to give you some nah. type of settlement or anything nah. like that? It's just no, nah, not at all. And the crazy thing is about that, bro. When I caught my six years, a white lady said I robbed her, and I never saw that lady a day in my life. Mm -hmm. And they gave me six years for that, and I never saw that lady. And I was fourteen. Mm. I was fourteen when I went to prison. I was fourteen years old. You feel me? And it wasn't no. Oh, you was a juvenile, bro. I'm 14, and there were 27 year olds. How, how, how did you get like miskin? Uh, was it what they call it, mistaken identity? Mistaken identity. Yes. What had happened was something transpired in in the hood. You feel me? So I got locked up for that, but it, it was a bunch of bull crap. You feel me? So the um the um robbery detectives, it was a it was like a um a cold case. So they had to like find somebody to put it on. Man, listen, mm -hmm. man, these people came in. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. Man, if you don't mind, talk to me, brother. Yeah, I was just like this because I hear the mistaken identity thing all the time. Like, and I, I was going to ask you because you know, Statue of Limitations is over. Did you know who actually robbed nah, the lady? No, I didn't. They, and I always say that. They, okay. Bro, when I do interviews, bro, I all, even when I'm talking to my brother, bro, I do not know this lady. I never saw this lady. And this, I'm sorry, I gotta say it like this. Man, this cracker lied on me, dog. Bruh, I do not know that lady, dog. She picked you out the lineup and said it was you? They said she did. Because mm -hmm. I ain't do no lineup. They just brought me a piece of paper with six people on it and me circled and said she said it was you. Okay, now, mm -hmm. I, I've seen situations like this before where, you know, people put the, the police officers in the neighborhood, they actually be having a thing out for a certain kids. Right. Well, you were like a repeat offender and no. you had a, a officer. This that, was a whole nother county. This Okay, so you didn't I'm even know Dade. none of these so folks. You been down, I'm from Dade, this yeah. was in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, wow. You okay. know, that ain't, that ain't in the same county. No, no, no. That like 35 minutes away from each other. Yeah. You what what, what type of robbery would be that bad that you had to Six years at fourteen years at old. At fourteen, uh, that's, that's when um when that occurred. And what was you doing in Fort Lauderdale at the time? I ain't nah, trying to investigate. I was going to school in Hollywood. Okay, gotcha. Hollywood, mm -hmm. Florida. That's why I was right there. Cause I, lived, I moved with my brother. Okay, I moved with my big brother. That one right there. No, nah, no, nah, that my little brother, my okay. big brother. Okay. Um, they came out soon as that happened. That's when the uh, law ten twenty life came out. It mm -hmm. just came out, bro. This was in, this was like ninety nine. So you got you got pushed into the new law, and they was making a quota with like you. As soon as it came out, like soon as it, bro. When I was locked up, it just came out like two weeks ago, bro. Wow. It was like so, like the new Jordans, the bro. New it law. was like so crazy, bro. Like all over in the jails, they had the, the they had the, to make that example, bro. Mm -hmm. They had the little the little papers on the wall, ten twenty, like with the gun. Get caught with a gun is 10, 20 in the commission of a crime. Um, um, life, if you shoot somebody up, I was like, yo, this is crazy. But how, what was you doing to speak up for yourself like at the time? Were you like, hey, nigga, it's not me. I was 14. That they, was Terry them. I was 14. They, they beat me up. They beat me up. They beat you up. I'm a, listen, I'm a, this is something that I don't really be saying a lot. I'm going to say it here. Okay. They beat me up. When I say they beat me up, they beat me up bad. Like Rodney God King. bless the dead to my mom. They called my mom. They put my mom on speakerphone. This is what they said. We going to let him come home, but he got to tell us what happened. Black mama. And you better tell him everything. She don't even know what they talking about. Hmm. They ain't tell her what it was about. <laughs> she don't even know what they talking about. Bruh. So Them you, crackers okay. beat me. Y'all saw that movie, When They See Us? Yeah. When the young boy said he did something he didn't do? Yeah. When I saw that movie, I caught cheers. Yeah. That yeah. what happened to me. But hold on. But, but, but like when, they, when she, she told you to tell them whatever they want to know, what did you tell them? What did you say? I just said I did it. You said you did it? Why did you do that? <laughs> Listen to what I just said. He wanted to go home. <laughs> <laughs> they called my mama and put it on speakerphone. Okay. And said, we going to let him go home. All he got to do is tell us what happened. My mama said, and you better tell him everything. When I said that, they took me to a place called like the, this was the police station. They took me to a place called like the the, uh, the Jack they they That's they'll have you there, you, and then you gotta call your mama to come get you. So they take me there. They got your charges like right there in the window or whatever, sitting on a little thing or whatever. So, dude, like 
One lady, she called the dude, like, what's your name? So, so she get his paper. Oh, yeah, call your mom, you going home. I come up there. I say, oh, let me call my mom, I want to go home. She said, what's your name? I say, Wallace. She said, baby, baby, you ain't going nowhere for a long time. I'm like, what? I'm like, what you mean? They said I can go. She said, Keith Wallace? I'm like, yeah. She said, baby, you got five on robberies. Mm. They was only talking about one. Wow. Hold on. So they, they told you. They to put all five. Mm. They, hold on. Wait, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a little throwed off. Now, they, they, they said they wanted you to admit to, to robbery, one robbery, and, and you did it. And I did it. Why did you do that? I don't understand why did you do that. Bro, I was 14, bro. I was 14 before, too. Yeah, but you... I was freshly dropped out of school. And but this is what I'm saying, bro. To be beat by these crackers. Man, my mother started going IG. And they said they was going to let you go. Yeah. The then you think you probably going to get like a quick little probation? Bro, I mean, maybe. Bro, let me just say... Money, I that mother started yeah. me as a young Something nigga like that. the average 14 year old go day through. that I'm talking about. Man, yeah. look, look how I look. Look at how everywhere. Bro, listen, bro. These people, bro. That's why my music... They beat you into submission. Bruh, listen, that's why my music is so heavily aimed at the law, bruh. Right. Because of that, bruh. Like, I ain't got no problem with them. It be, I just know they crooked. And that's why my music sound the way it sounds, dog. Bruh, I'm just being honest, bruh. We, we on your show, baby. I got to tell the truth. Word, word, this is exactly I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, happened, I still bro. don't I, Okay, I, I, I brother, got you. I'm just being real, you know what I'm saying now? Yeah. I was 14. Well, you, so are you saying that when you say I was 14, are you saying that I was afraid of for my I, life and, course, yeah. and that they was beating you to of an inch of your afraid, life? Man. You going to tell them what you man, need bro, to hear. Mm, yeah. Man, when you 14 and you in the hood fighting, that ain't nothing. When you go to jail, it's, it becomes different. You feel me? Yeah. It becomes different. I caught my first charge. Please don't think I was crazy. I caught my first charge at nine years old. I did three days at nine years old because this is all I was taught in my house. And if they hit you, you better pick up son and bust them in the head with right. mm -hmm. <laughs> Black mama. Yeah. Black, black. yeah. I didn't have a dad to tell black me something mama. different. Yeah. Nah, mm -hmm. son, fight them. Mm -hmm. I ain't have a, no, nobody told me mama fight them. They just run, said pick up Forrest, run. So I got into an incident at school. Okay. I hit dude in the head with a pipe. A pipe. Oh shit! Where did I'm you just, find a pipe? Nine years old. What is that? Like fourth grade? Fourth, fifth grade? Old. Yeah, fourth. I'm just being real, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, <laughs> bro, right. nine, ninth grade. I'm okay. You? No, no, nine this, years old. Nine, nine, nine. Fourth okay. grade. I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. Yeah. I'm, this, this, I'm a little frazzled. Um, <laughs> you ain't green now. Okay. I'm, Turquoise. Yeah, I'm, I got chills in my spine asking you this Let's shit. Go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I was bullied all the way up through school. No, but ninth, ninth grade. Um, I'm grade. fighting five and six niggas at a time, <laughs> and I, I at no point I ever picked up some shit and I hit a nigga. I didn't make it to the ninth grade. Okay. I went to prison in the seventh grade, going to the eighth. This man, what school I, you went to? No, this is what I'm saying, bro. Like, look, listen, look. <laughs> See, he he all with his numbers, man. <laughs> look, right. I was nine when I caught my first shot. Not in the ninth grade. Yeah. I was nine years old when I hit the dude in the head with the pipe. You hit a little boy in the head. That ain't no dude. No, man. He was he was older, man. Why you think how, I hit him? <laughs> how, how, how old was this nigga? <laughs> Bro, he was like in the... Uh, I still remember his name. His name on uh, Levin, Levin, something like Levosky. Because Le I had a boy dropped on me named Levosky. <laughs> it was, a, it was. But a, no, on some real. He stuff, had bro. a big old booty. He was he like, he was like, yeah, big old but wait, <laughs> bro. He was like, he was like, he was man, <laughs> bro. Listen, I promised Why? myself when I came on this show that I was gonna be serious. <laughs> you can't be serious. I'm, de I'm dead ass. Shit. I'm, I'm dead like, ass serious. Look, I'm like, man, be pray, pray the Lord, cause I know this man be tripping. <laughs> Soon I finna pray. Not time to cuss. Law, you left me and you forsook me, baby. Listen, bro. The man I hit with the pipe, bro, he was like 13. He was 13. I was nine. He in the eighth grade. Bro, you... It is what it is. Dang, God damn. <laughs> Beating on senior and... citizens and shit. Yeah, bro, listen. Come on now. Listen, man. This well, hold on. What, what kind of clothes you had on? <laughs> what, 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 you had on a nice outfit. What, what were you trying to take from you? Nah, bro. We were poor, man. It wasn't no, it wasn't no fresh back then, baby. What, 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 what y'all got into it by? Bro, it, it was it was a, it was like a like a. He was trying to take the, take y'all hoes because that's what them niggas in the middle school man. used to always be on that bullshit. He was trying to get that lunchbox. Man, 
<laughs> no, nah, brother, no, nah, brother. It, listen, man. Okay. I had a lot of anger in me, man. One thing led to the next. You, you didn't know? say that. No, I'm saying like I stood up for myself. You was a chewer yeah. another coin. There, you was bad. I stood up for myself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I know I ain't had no business hitting that man with that. Okay. <laughs> no pipe. Nah, man. if you nine years but, old and yeah, it's, it's a twelve, it's thirteen, bro, this, yeah, this nigga was Chucky. Life. Yeah, this yeah, nigga yeah, was yeah, the with black with the Chucky. No, man. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell my nine year old do the same thing. No, you not. You no, the no, fuck you not. Ass. No, you not. No, you not. You gonna tell him? You gonna tell him to tell? Hit his ass in the head with a rock, a brick, a pipe. Whatever Something. you can find. Yeah, no, it is. So it oh, wasn't like, but I just find it really weird that the police will lock you up at nine years old and make you spend yeah. three days yeah, over stuff in jail. Because during, during that time, over a child fight, especially that time back in Miami, bro, we had something called juvenile hall. Did you crack his? We head? had that shit too. Yeah, I, is that what yes, happened? Okay, what happened? Okay. You you split the boy. Yeah, and back you then, hit him from the back. A, as a young dude back then, bro, you can do twenty one days. That's, you get up to 21 days. How man. long you had got? Nah, he did three. Man, I, 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 did I heard three. of juvenile hall, but I thought that was like 14, 15, 16. No. You saying you 14 nine. in prison and nine in jail. It doesn't no. see, listen. Atlanta, I don't remember. Is he okay? Like that. 14, is he all right? No, 14, when they charge you as an adult, you get direct foul. They ain't charging a 14 year olds as a dog in Atlanta, is they? Oh, yes, they is. It depends yes, they is. No, it depends on what you're doing. I got locked up at 14. I wasn't charged as no one. What you was, on the charge, bro? You was got down. Kind of, what, well, what did you do? What did you do? What did you do? No, I got no, no, I got no, no. in a fight with the, poli- the correction officer at the school and on some render arrest. Nigga, that ain't shit. But they still put me in handcuffs, put me back in the police car. I was scared as hell. Yeah, but they charged Not me. Not know what the hell going on they, at 14. Nigga, you trying to blend imagine. in with his shit. That ain't no, nigga. that's what I'm saying. His shit, they just. No, they you old. not hard. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> you. Exactly. Let them know. I'm at, I was at this. I got out and went to the skating <laughs> ring the next out. day. Hey, Keith. The fuck? Hey, Keith. Play with him. Keith, is the boy all right? Oh, is he retarded now? <laughs> <laughs> is he okay? What happened to boy? He cool, bro. He, 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 he follow you on Facebook still? <laughs> Oh, they love me right now, man. That's everybody, nigga, you, you know, no, everybody that I had beef with in the streets. Yeah, like what I'm doing now. Yeah, like, like I told a testimony on uh, on I Instagram, and I, you saw it. Yeah, I ran into the brother. It was at uh Trick Trina, Big Man, Ball, mm-hmm. Big Man. You feel I seen me? It, yeah, they had like a little show at Carrot City on uh, high, and I went out there and I was leaving, and the dude, he walked by me. He looked. He said, "Man, I love what you're doing on the internet." But I hear that everywhere I go, I be hearing it. Yeah. So I'm like, appreciate you, black man. And I kept walking. He's, he look. He said, bro, ain't no way you know who I am. I'm like, I don't know you, my brother. He said, Boosie. I'm like, Boosie. He said, big man. And I'm in my heart just like, but that man oh, had a hit man. on my head before. Wow. $10,000 hit. I done had a pistol at his head. I done robbed his traps. Bro, we was in real warfare. But I'm talking like, Almost. None of it ever happened. Yeah, it, exactly. I'm talking, man, like all 2005, 2006. You feel me? He don't went to the feds. He don't lost a lot of weight. He little don't even look shit. the same. He little man. Now. Little yeah, exactly. Yeah, little but at the same time, <laughs> yeah. To to like make the transition to where I was, to where I am now, and to see old adversaries, bro, and they actually appreciate what I'm doing, shaking hand, taking pictures, and it's like, it's like. We can change, black. Did you take Absolutely. a picture with Big Man? Yeah, it's like we can Y'all, change. So is, is that on the internet? Nah, he ain't on the internet. Okay. He ain't on the internet. He, he took the picture. But we hold on. This, this the boy you hit with that? No, no, no. no. Oh, this, this somebody else. This a whole nother this nigga. This yeah. is a different yeah. yeah. This was one of his biggest ops. This a different this kid. This Big from Man. Nah, this like, one. I this one. I went like this one. He this after I went to prison and got out. You feel me? Did before I caught my murder charge. Oh you feel my me? God, your murder charge. How many? But, how many years in between the point for the last robbery where you was that point up until the meeting point? How many years in between that stretch? Um, I got out um 2004, and when I got out, I had to like, I turned psycho in prison. You feel me? But when I went, I was scared. Okay. I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? They they raped my bunkie. You feel me? Like I, I heard cash up here, so I'm like, bro, that ain't. You in the feds. The feds. That's a yeah. cakewalk, bro. That's different. You yeah. go to feds and nobody gonna mess with you. In prison? No, man. I ain't Chang crazy. Game. Man, you can be by yourself, sticking to yourself. Damn, man, them people ain't trying to hear that, man. They don't care in there. You feel me? They came and snatched my bunkie. I said it's on 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 uh, Lost Them Show. Man, they took this dude off the bed, bro. 
Took him off the bed. And 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 and, and you know they did what they did to him, dog. You just let them do it? Bruh, I'm what they call it, fresh meat. I'm a new cop. I'm brand new in prison. Say I ain't fucking them folks. Well, I'm scared, man. Oh my what? god. Man, I'm scared at this at right at that age, I was 15 then. How many you guys really? got them? Um probably like four. Probably I'm like, like four, four. Five, four. Five dudes. No, snatch that boy up out of there. You hear me? Hold on. Hey, hey man, listen. Yeah. I'm 14. I'm going, I'm at uh New Birth. Not we did New Birth Church. They mm -hmm. took me to a scared straight program when I'm fresh out of school. Oh, we went to straight. Alto Prison. <laughs> this was back before it turned well, into a women's prison. You should know at New Birth, you was already in for it. No, it did listen, <laughs> it, it alone <laughs> no, he wasn't fuck, he wasn't he he, he didn't I wasn't his type. I wasn't I wasn't his type. I wasn't his type. I wasn't a nigga type. He didn't like me like that. No, he he knew I like girls. Alone. You know, he, he, he knew I, he wouldn't, yeah, he, people be knowing, they I be mean, knowing. But, but Pastor Brian then took over and he ain't all the way together. Hey, 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 <laughs> no, hey, we love you, Pastor Brian. Oh, you talking about Jamal, right? You know it. Jamal Brian is a great hey, but guy. but nah, listen though, but bro, but, to answer that, bro, it's like from 14. Yeah. When I got out, two, not 14, when I got out 2004. Uh, hold on, hold on, you skipping the part. All right, so they put the, the boy, <laughs> yeah, they done yeah. with the boy, and they throw him back up on the bed. And that's like, how, how that's, do, what's the rest of the, the day? Like, <laughs> do you say something to him? Like, is I, you, you are right? I, uh, I get, no, I get stabbed, and I get my jaw broke. Why? So that, no, you, that Why? Was 15, you was 15 when you got stabbed in yeah. prison. And when I got my jaw broke. Why? Damn, All that they the same came there to do the same thing to me, and I told them they got to kill me. I told him, I said, man, you got, man, y'all got killed. Man, me, you should have gave him that ass, man. That you, you should be, what the fuck? Nah. Boy, you, I mean, hey, edit that out. Edit that out. Edit that out. I didn't mean that. I would have fought, too. I'm taking I'm a I'm a fault, you would have fought, you'd have to kill me, too. I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. I need my jaw, bro. I need. Bro, I'm going to keep it a bean, bro. It was like, it was, man, bro. Rooms are small, man. Rooms then it's real small. little. Then you got lockers inside your room, so you ain't got no space to do nothing. Man, listen. Oh, God. Bro, I was. Man, I was a kid, bro. Fifteen, yeah. I was, I was terrified, man. Oh yeah. I said, bro, man, y'all gotta kill me. Boom. That, that's that was it. God. Do, do you mind hit. if I ask you how old are you now? Uh, I'm, I'm 38. I turned 39 on February 17th. Yeah, man. You feel okay. me? Okay. Man, congratulations. Yeah, bro. Like, bro, one Shit. hit, one hit, right? Boom. Like my lip, it's like the hole right here. Yeah. It came down. No, no, no. They had to put like seven stitches. No. You feel what I'm saying? I couldn't. Put my back teeth couldn't connect, but like them boys, yeah, you feel hey, me? Hey. But like after like sixty days, no Jesus, everything I hated, I became. Boy, I turned. Boy, I was sending niggas getting stabbed, sending niggas getting hit with lots of. I was sending hey, after man, how many days? Monster, sixty. That's all it took. Cause I had a doubt. I got six years in the, in here, man. Like, yeah. come on, man. Like you gotta fight. You gotta fight yeah. back, bro. Like you can't. No, bro. You gotta fight back. My homeboy Devin Burns, he did four years. He had nine days to go home, and they stabbed and killed him. And that mm. man had nine days to go home off of four years. Mm. And they stabbed him right in front of the child hall, and, and he, he died. You you never went to a scared straight program? <laughs> nah. Ever? Nah, I ain't never went to scared straight. Nigga. When, I'm telling, when I was 14, <laughs> them niggas was in my ear with they lip on my ear telling me how they was going to fuck the dog monkey at me. Man. And I was the only nigga in my group out of nine kids. I was voted most likely to come back, but I'm the only one didn't. Only one didn't. Nah, bro, like, I believed it. them niggas. That's all you needed was that. that yes, little, that nigga, that nigga the little had to almost had his tongue in my ear. Mm -hmm. And I, you know how you be like this that because it kind of feel good, but you be like, stop, nigga, <laughs> what you doing? But bro, on some real stuff, like Go, when yeah. I jump, jump me and got out. When I jump, okay, like you jump. When I bro, what you, you mean, mean, like like jump, like got out, okay. Like um, first, no. like the first, um, like the first week I'm okay. getting shot at. Because hold on, jump. My, what, what does jump mean? Get released. He from got prison. out. Okay, get, get I, released I, from prison. I'm gonna be thinking like you like week back yeah. in the city. Like mm -hmm. you getting shot at I'm after great. doing six years. Because I don't know that my peers are involved in beef. Right. I don't know that. So I'm thinking these are my friends. The whole time these boys at war, and I don't even they ain't tell me. Right. They just welcome me home. So I'm like, yo, man, what's up, boy? Bum, bum, bum. What? Now I got to, man, I just got out. Now I got to find a gun. Now I got to stand up for myself. So when you got out, how old were you? Like 14? I mean, I'm sorry, like 20, 20, 20, 21? I was 20. 20. I was 20. You feel what I'm saying? I, I don't want to. Uh... Why you ain't move? 
I didn't I didn't realize that you were so young, man. So you missed out on middle oh, school, prom, high school, years, prom. I never losing your virginity, all that right, type shit. I never shit threw the head in the air. Like, whatever the hell, kids. I ain't never did, walked across the stage. I ain't never went to no prom. I didn't either, bro. But like, I ain't look you how good that I turned out. That whole out. childhood era, because you bro, was locked up. I just heard "Get Rich or Die Trying" probably like three months ago. The album. <laughs> Damn, bro, real life. Damn. Can you tell me how long it took? Like I'm asking before you all actually, when did you squash the beef and when did he squash it? Big man. While you were in between that him, segment, yeah. How what time? How long? He got locked up him again. Okay. That's when we got squashed because he got locked up. You so you went to go see him in prison and then you said, "Hey, is it over?" No, he got locked up and I saw him at the Trick and Trina concert. Gotcha. And you on top of your game. And how many years ago shit? was that after you got released? Man, that was that was like what? Okay, like ten years after the Boosie beef. About, about 12. I seen online you said 10. About 10. But that's what it you had to be, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like 10, 12, something like that. You feel me? And I haven't, because I ain't know how he looked. Right. You feel me? I ain't seen this man. How does it feel years. to have like one of your biggest ops to reach out and give you a hug 10 years later and knowing that these people shot your mama house up, you done had a pistol at their head. He one got hit. That my little brother that got hit. Two of my little brothers got hit. Yeah. Man, you should have put it. Get off me, bitch. <laughs> no, nah, bro. It's, nah, like, it's 10 years later, man. He done changed. Bro, people drop, man. bro. Listen, yeah. it was so much. It was so much people dropping. You can't shoot at me, bro. Bro, it was so many people dropping, bro. Like my little homeboy Jeff got killed. You that feel me? That like, ain't bro, nothing but God. Bro, people was dropping, bro. They hit that him ain't in the. That but God. They, they tricked him, get him in the car. Yeah, man. Somebody who he knew. Oh. He no. get in the uh, front seat. That's why no. I don't play that. Nah. I don't play that getting in the front seat and somebody in the back. Even to this day, boy, I don't play that, boy. No, man, Jeff, little Jeff got in the front seat. The person who he knew got in the back. They bent the corner, shot him in the back of the head. I'm never getting in the Uber pool again. And he, and he was 17 years old, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, bro. So it was, bro, it was so many, bro, it was so much stuff going on during that time. And we moved my mama. Yeah. And they tried to follow Ain't it? They tried to follow the U-Haul to where my mama was going because they knew. And you once my mama stuff. moved, boy, they knew it was over. Okay, it was over. Cause man, once you move your mama, they they ain't got no ties to so, you. So, they Keith, when you said when I, when when we first walked in and you introduced me to your brother, this your brother, brother, my not brother, just brother, your, that my real brother. Yeah, nowadays you know when you meet people, you be like, oh, this is my no, this my man, brother, this is my sister. That's my a lot baby. of people don't know that about me and Jack. That's my cousin, cousin. So when we be like, oh yeah, that's my cousin. They don't yeah, know that. we not so play cousins. Your, like yeah, this is your blood brother. He got shot at your house one, over your beef. He the one called brother. me and told me mama died. Okay, when my yeah. daughter died, okay. he called me five hours later and said my mama died. Hey man, y'all got a strong family. Hey, hold on, hold on, wait. Wait, wait, time out, time out. So you, you saying to me, like, when you, you, your mama in, in the hood, that, that, that keep niggas up off of you? Oh, no. 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 Listen, when your mama, when you move your mama, they know it ain't nothing they can do. You feel me? It ain't nothing stopping you. When your mama live in the hood, it's like, it's a lot of stuff you're not going to do because they're going to come shoot your mama house up like they did. Yeah. And it's like, come on, bro. You don't even live with your mama, but you causing all this chaos, mm -hmm. coming back, shooting, boom, and now your mom, you think these, man, you know how people be lying to my old oh, family members off limits, and mm -hmm. bro, ain't no nigga that ever was in the streets for real, but boy, boy, it ain't no honor amongst these, it ain't no, yeah, that shit sound crazy, it ain't no honor amongst these, bro, when I be hearing people say that, especially online, bro, I'm glad your, your podcast is big, too, I gotta say this, y'all niggas quit faking, man, y'all was never in no streets, bro, listen, when 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 um uh God bless the dead when when Kodak artist the school mama just got killed yeah. that mm -hmm. people in the comments nah the mama off limits boy y'all don't know what that man was doing out there you don't know who man you think people care yeah no nah, man ain't I, nobody off limits that's why I don't I, I don't want to be in no street nigga no more I'm straight streets don't play fair no they don't hey, that, remember getting into a fight you like hey listen. We do this, don't hit me in the face though. <laughs> and nigga hit you in the face anyway, break the rules. And, and bite you try to get out of the fight. They biting and everything. They grabbing your dick and twisting it in. Bro, listen, ain't no nah, bro. I'm good, bro. So them young brothers who bro, them young brothers who out there living in them streets, bro, who think that your family off limits, your kid, man, listen, it's a brother locked up right now from Miami. Okay. His name Ice. He locked up now. Man, they ran down on one of they whatever they call him now, ops, enemies, whatever, ran down on him in Victory Homes. He had his son in his hand. They jumped out. Put your son down. Put your son he, down. He put his son down. They killed him right in front of his son, and they left. 
So if they he'd have kept his son, then he would have stayed alive. Yeah, I, I don't even know, bro. They probably would have shot him with the son in his hand, bro. But they had. I'm not. I'm not saying that they had no honor. Yeah. But oh. they say put your son down. Okay. He so put his just, son down. I'm not putting my son down. They Fuck that. Lucky. Yeah. Fact, that was a first forty eight episode. Some some it's, people would just do it. Well, why you got your son with Listen, you? Listen, on first forty eight, um, when they were showing it in Miami, mm. when them boys shot the chopper through the window and they killed the newborn baby and the correction officer, yeah. all this beef is tied together. Yeah. All that beef is tied together, bro. All that beef tied, and this was going on around the same time with me, big man, bro. All that, bro. Listen, when I say I'm blessed, boy, I'm blessed, man. Boy, I'm blessed, boy. Hey. Keep your son in your hands. <laughs> Whatever you do, man, don't <laughs> fall for that shit. Bro, real life, bro. Hmm. Real life, bro. Okay, you got a song um, called Kill Illuminati. Who that old, too. What did, I don't understand that. What, what is it that even... Did you believe in the Illuminati? The Illuminati oh, man, is very much real, way, sir. Hey, you, I know how to drive now. Your podcast is very huge. much real. Your podcast is I, huge. You, I, I, your podcast I, 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 is huge. You, you see, I I'm glad you're going this way now. You, 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 come on, on some real you stuff now. Watch me whip and watch me nay nay. All right, listen. On some real stuff, as <laughs> far as when it comes to like um, the industry, yeah. Like I did a lot. Man, I read a lot of books. You feel me? Yeah. They're called the Illuminated Ones. That's what they're actually called, and they're uh, it's followers of the light, and it's twenty four. Chapters up under the Illuminati, but it's only 33 members of the actual Illuminati, and that's why the Masons stand on the brick to swell 33 bricks in the swell, and that's why they say I'm a third, I'm a 33rd degree Mason. All that coincide with each other, but the actual Illuminati is only 33 members, baby. Read Behold a Pair of Horse for you niggas who just be talking this and getting your information off YouTube, don't know what you're talking about. It's only 33 members of the actual Illuminati, but it's 24. Chapters up on the uh, skull and bones, scroll and key, um, Freemasonry, um, the Council on Foreign Relations. I can go on and on and on, but it's going to add up to 24. But as far as the actual Illuminati, nah, it's, only, it's, it's only 33. Is, is, is they still, still alive? Members. 33 members? Yeah, 33 They're members. Still they, just, like they just replaced functioning? one, one exactly. They get replaced. It's, that's it's, like, that's it's like a fail mentality. One, 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 I know exactly what he's talking exactly. about. Exactly. You feel me? That's <laughs> like, um, that's like um, 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 Ben Franklin. Yeah. How are you on the biggest bill that you can spend and you never was a president? You never was a president. Mm -hmm. Hold on, get the fuck out of here. I didn't mm -hmm. know Ben Franklin wasn't a president. He was never Man, a president. I didn't know what Ben Franklin he was. He was never a president. Where the electricity? He, where he, he worked out. He was the Secretary oh, of Treasury. Oh, not really. That was iron. No, that's Listen, home. he was the that's Secretary of <laughs> Treasury, bro. No, hold on. He was the oh, Secretary no, of no, Treasury. That's, uh, Albert, Albert Einstein. Einstein. Albert Einstein did electricity. He was the, right? he was the, he was the Secretary of Treasury during that time. He was the leader of the Illuminated Ones. <laughs> Georgia Power. So, so wait, wait, uh, Georgia Power. 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 That man wasn't even. Why that boy up? That That's boy. It, eh? That boy was. That boy was. Yeah. Hell that boy was no. On the level. That boy was on the Who's level. Who's on the fuck? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. That, 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 that boy was on the level. God damn. So Look, how they how he? Tell they put Lincoln on the penny and the five dollar bill. How who he had to tell to get on the bill? Like, hey, y'all know I got the hundred, right? No, well, he was, I, sec how, he how was Secretary of Treasury, bro. He. That's he the, he during made that, sure the money. Yeah, was, during was, that yeah. time, the Illuminated ones they who actually ran. During that time, the Illum they ran everything out, and we talking back when America was only uh, thirteen states, thirteen mm, colonies. The colonies. So is you that why the uh, the dollar bill got the pyramid on? Um, ha, ha. Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Okay, you see how the pyramid <laughs> is separated, right? And it got the eye at the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The eye represents the satellite or God, all seen, and yeah. that's why it's separated from the bottom of the other half of the pyramid, yeah. meaning. I'm looking at all y'all at the bottom. Mm. You feel me? They call it the all seeing if, eye. If the United States don't even have no pyramids, why the hell do we got pyramids on our dollar? Bobby, what, what That's pretty deep, my brother. Is, is pyramids in the United States? 
I didn't even never notice that. It ain't no pyramids here, is it? Yes, it is. Where, where mm-hmm. are they? Where's the pyramid in the United States? Yeah. Think about what I'm about to say, right? Just oh, about, in Las Vegas. Think about what that's I'm about to say. The Mandalay Bay. That's not like the one you're talking from about back the, in the, the day. The food, the food, the food gazing. Bro, it's a lot, like right here, bro, in certain places, especially like Illinois, bro. Bro, they got actual. Like monuments, bro. Like statues. It look look kind of weird, bro. You you have a hill. How you think this? How you think this grass just going up this hill like this hill? Yeah. If you chop all this and get to the bottom of, what's holding it up? Mm-hmm. Okay, if you drain, if you drain the ocean, what would it become if you take the water out? I don't. The Grand Canyon. Okay. The Grand, I heard the Grand Canyon is like a secret passageway I, where... I, I've been to the Grand Canyon before. Inside of it? Bro, no, no. Listen, this, this, this is how this goes, right? You have Flagstaff, right? Flagstaff is the city that you have to go through to get to Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon is not the wonder. That's the city. Mm-hmm. And do it's it, called, that's The city is called Grand Canyon. Do it got anything to do wonder. with Six Flags? You feel me? <laughs> anything. No, nah, bro, I'm going to keep it right. Like, this is some real stuff, bro. Okay, when you're going from Flagstaff to the city of the Grand Canyon, elevation from the ground, it elevates up to 13,000. So, during that that drive from Flag, ask anybody that But went. the actual Grand Canyon that they have blocked off, where we can't go inside and see. Like, I'm, I mean, we can sight. I've seen the sightseeing the Grand right, Canyon. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. But, like, that actual big-ass cave area... That's deep down inside. You heard mm-hmm. a lot of stuff too. I, that's what I'm course. saying. They say it's all kind of you crazy hear, stuff. He in read there. my brother. You hear, you hear like a, a lot of things, but at the same time, like like I always From say, giants, bro. aliens, teleport systems. Like all I always say, bro. Like everything that was written, if you can read it, it was written by a man, and man have error, man mm-hmm. have flaws. Okay, that's with anything, bro. You feel me? If you got twelve to fifteen hundred religions, how you gonna say the Bible real? If it's 12 to 1,500 religions, mm-hmm. come on, man. That's what you believe in. That, hey, that, that's what I... Mm-hmm. I think that every uh, pretty much religion, you got to look at, uh, for instance, they all have that higher entity, but they also have, uh, you know, a demon or a devil. So It's always good and the bad. Mm-hmm. So it always balances itself out. And no matter what, and and almost every one, that the demons always look the same. And the, the devils always okay. look the same. Now, you said look the same. Right. It's always like some crazy looking monster but, with tail and horns. But, how you, come on, bro. So it don't matter. I feel like it don't matter really if you worshiping a white Jesus or, or, or a fat Buddha. Did what I'm about but to say right now. You still got those red demons chasing you, trying to kill you. And Did what I'm about down. to say right now, right? A spirit can't die. Do you agree? I'm just, agree. this is a question. Mm-hmm. Okay. A spirit can't die, right? It can only transfer. Yes. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So the scripture says, and when he cast the demon out, the man was in his right mind. He was chilling. He was good. But the demon came back and found the house swept up. The house is the body. The Another temple. body. Mm-hmm. It found it swept up and clean, and the demon couldn't enter. So he left again to go find came back with body. seven more. Mm-hmm. And the last state of that man's mind was worse than the first. How can you see him? If it's a spirit. So any little vision that you see, how can that be an accurate representation of what it's supposed to be if it's a spirit? You get what I'm trying to say? Yes. Now, every one of us have spirits living inside of us. And whatever spirit living inside of you is going to determine how you act. Yes. So you will have somebody that play with kids, molest. But you will have somebody that rob people. The robber will say... What you touch them little boys for? Touch them little girl for? The, the child molester will say, what you robbing them people for? What you mean? Both of y'all doing wrong. And both of y'all doing evil. But that's two different spirits, baby. Two different spirits. Right. So how can you put a face on something you can't even see? And if you can't see it, who saw it to put a face on it if nobody can't see it? Mm. The world is ran on signs and symbols, bro. That's what control the world. You see that octagon, you just know that the octagon represents stop. That's why I got stop in the middle. You just know that. But that's a symbol. That's a symbol, bro. Like on the um um the 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 medical symbol. The pole with the circle at the top, two snakes going around it with little wings in the back of it. But when you look at it closely, 
You ask yourself, why is it two snakes going around an angel? Right. And this is a medical sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never thought about that. Mm -hmm. You just you just hit one over the head. I know right? I did. I know I did. But in ancient times, <laughs> they use snake venom as medicine. Oh, okay. Talk to mm. him, man. I ain't need people be playing. Man, what they do? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was going to say, hold on. Now, I'll be looking at shit, right? So, uh, you know, the car company, the Alfa Romeos, they got the symbol of the snake, too. But, you know, they be saying that these snakes also represent the reptilians. I don't know if y'all onto that type of shit either. But when some people worship reptil reptilians like they're angels. You know what I mean? Yeah, at, so the, at the same know. time, you still gotta remember Shape now. Shifters. It's like, uh, like exactly. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, wow, well, a lot of stuff. Proximity is is a lot too. Proximity means a lot, like where you're from. So us being over here in the New World or the Americas or United, whatever you want to call it, when you go somewhere else, it's totally different. And then you ask yourself, why they living like this? So uh, earlier, right, you said um, spirits. We all agree that, you know, they, they can transfer, they ain't destroyed, we die, we all have our own spirits. So do you think when people pass, their spirits are being reincarnated? That's what the Hindus believe in. That's, that's Hindu uh, religion, uh, reincarnation. But at, at, as far as that go, the only evidence, allegedly, that we have from the other side is in the book of Luke when the rich man died. That's the only evidence. Or uh, whatever else they put on YouTube and say, I was dead and I saw this. But if we talking actual like literature, as well as in the book of Samuel, when Samuel died, and um, no, Nathan died, and they went to the prophet Samuel to raise him back from the dead to, to give some advice to the king Solomon. And they called them mediums. A medium can raise you from the dead. Right. This is in the Bible. Uh -huh. But the Christians will say, this is evil. This is voodoo. This is in the Bible, nigga. But they don't read that. You feel what I'm saying? Is it the Old Testament? Or it's the old, it's yeah. the old Testament. They, they act like they don't uh, listen to nothing. It's the Old Testament. Testament. But as far as that goes, like, I really can't speak on nothing when it comes to the afterlife, bro. Yeah. Because I just yeah. believe that, okay, when I die, you go to heaven or hell, or you go purgatory. That's just something I got to believe because I haven't been there yet. Let me ask you a question, if you don't mind. <clears throat> you obviously are learned and read in the Bible. I personally believe religion is placed here to divide. Mm -hmm. The reason I believe that is because, I mean, if you go back from the Tower of Babel and the splitting of the tongues and, you know, our ancestors or whoever. You, talk, you, you talking that talk right now. Yeah. I like that. Go okay, ahead. So, that, boy that boy say the Tower of Babel. That nigga graduated, bro. Nah, he, he, he said the Tower of Babel. He knows something. Because you ain't even have to say it yeah, like that. You I mean, know something. I mean, <laughs> I had to say that because I wanted you to. You I to, know something. Okay. I know All right, something. So, go ahead. So when you in dealing with those particular tones and you know that, or even if you set up your mind to believe religion is placed here to divide, because if it is one nation under God, then it would all be under one doctrine, and it's not. So everybody takes what the Baptists take, what they're going to believe, the Christians going to take what they believe, the Buddha, and so forth. Now, knowing that, I mean, personally, any written word by man is wary to me because man wrote it and man is liable to hear. Man, we got flow, we got error. Right? Right. So, and you can't take the complete work of the Bible. You can't. Okay, because if, if you do, it tells you obey your slave masters. Okay. If you take the complete work of the Bible... Can you, what sections do you pull out to trust in your mind in order to lead you? I personally don't necessarily, I mean, I do get, I do get knowledge from the Bible. Right. I do get guidance from the Bible. But right. before I even picked up the Bible, I knew it was wrong to steal because I felt it in my spirit. It was mm. wrong to kill before I spelt it in my spirit. Mm. Do I need it to guide me? Or am I a divine within my own self to follow God without the word of man? Deep, my brother. Hey, listen. Let me clap, bro. I got, I got to clap. I got to yeah. clap for that. Now, it's we're like, going to spend three more minutes on this, and then we're going like, to go back to sleep. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, you're born. Okay, bro. Dig this. When you, when you have a baby, don't you know? You ain't never thought about why do you have to train the child to be good? 
You never think of that? The child already know how to do bad. Well, off the gate. My daughter, nah. I won't. I'm say not talking about bad. Like, yeah, yeah. I had nothing to, crazy. I had to teach her about, uh, you know, don't touch the stove and hot water burn baby. Okay, and stuff okay. Like that, but born it's, not knowing. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Unless so, I, I, feel, I personally feel like unless you are. You know, chemically imbalanced or, you know, deviating right, right. from a, a regular. Of course, of right, course, of course. Right. But if you born with everything, boom, you good. Right. Okay. Now, it's like you born with this, with a certain nature already. Mm. You're already born with a certain nature. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. Now, if we born in his image and his likeness, we already know what to do, what not to do, what to do, what not to do. Because we born in his image and his likeness. And he's our creator. He's our father. You feel me? Now, like you say about the slavery. So, black people, when, if you, if you take a, if you take a, 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 a dog that's a stray dog in the, in the streets versus a dog that's in the house, raised in the house, these both dogs, though. Right. Both dogs. But one have a mentality like this and another have a mentality like that. Why? Because who's raising them? One have no guidance at all. Just out there. Mm. It's I a, think it's called it's, it's a straight dog. I think it's an environment. Just like you saying. When Remember you, when I said when you went proximity? to jail, when you went to jail and you said between them sixty days, that's the difference between a exactly. citizen and survival. That's why I said proximity. Okay. That's like brother Malcolm. Had Brother Malcolm never went to Mecca, he still would have been with the nation of Islam. When he went to Mecca, he became a Sunni Muslim. The Sunni Muslims got the beards. Why you think Farrakhan ain't got no beard? Hmm. So why would people be like, the Muslim got a beard, you a Muslim because you got a... Why you think they say that? Because it's two different types. Okay. The Sunni Muslim is one with the beard, that freeway, all, everybody from Philly, the rapper. Okay, nation of Islam and the fruit of Islam, they got to shave. They can't have a beard. Well, what if he just, he got real pretty skin and maybe... No, because the nation of Islam is only for black people. And the fruit of Islam is only... Black, black Muslims, and they, that's right. And they want, and, and that's what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, that's what he wanted to do. But when Brother Malcolm took the pilgrimage to Mecca, mm -hmm. he saw white Muslims. Yeah, all different kinds. All different kinds that's praying right. to the same God. Right. I don't want to say this is was his demise because I love Farrakhan, bro. I love him. I love him. And I would never talk bad about a, a, a brother who's trying to do righteous for our people on no platform at all. I love him. But when he came back, his mind was different. I'm not saying that was the end of his demise, but that goes back to what we saying. Right. Proximity. You got bro. How you know? Bro, when you go, I've been to nine countries. I know it's not a lot, but I've been to nine countries, so I know the difference of. Hey, that's here. a lot. That is bro, a lot, bro. When I think about Spain, how many he just stunning on us, bro. No, no, you not, flexed I'm on us just now, bro. You think I, you better than us, bro? No, brother. Listen, look. When I went to Spain, I learned that Barcelona was named after a black soldier. I didn't even know that. I had to go to Spain to learn that. There was a statue of a. a I didn't even know this. This soldier is named Barcelona, and he black. I didn't know Spain know was like, either. like, uh, probably sixty percent Nigerian, bro. I had no idea, but I had to go there and see. When I went to Brazil inside the favelas, there's a movie called City of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. I went, I went there, I went there, bro. When I went there, I learned that Christ the Redeemer statue that's in Brazil. Mm -hmm. I learned I didn't even know this. I had no idea. I learned that the Roman Catholic Church, they colonized the Portuguese people and they turned all of them to Catholics and they awarded them, rewarded them with that statue and that's why the Portuguese is Catholics. And that's why the Portuguese was the last people to get out of slavery. Facts. Facts! Not no black people. The Portuguese, bro. The, the ones that look like us. The dark ones. And they got them over there look just like us with the yeah. lots and everything, bro. You feel me? And they and they deal with um. It's a nice hairstyle though. <laughs> they deal with presidents from the light skinned Portuguese people, bro. You feel me? They deal with like racism just Can like I we ask you do. This, uh, quick, uh, Talk to me, brother. You said you've been to nine countries, right? Oh, yes, but, sir. But man, I'm just thinking about your track record. How the heck was you able to 
Yeah, in man. This country, you, yeah, and bro. Had all these nah, charges. That, that, and that don't. That don't. The only place. The only place, place like that, you can't I, go with a record is Canada. Canada. That's it. Hold on. So you. That's can, the only place you can go. You can. You can go anywhere. Like with felonies. Yeah, as long as you got a passport. Without, but but Canada. Yeah, because Canada crime rate is low. Canada don't play. Canada don't. Play. Only way so you, you can never get been Canada, to Canada. I've been to Canada. Oh, you been to Canada? I'm, but I'm, I'm about to tell you how. And the Dubai. only way you can go to Canada if you come through Buffalo driving. Bro, facts, bro. I, man, I'm on Instagram nigga, in the Niagara Falls. Yeah. But because they don't check every car. Yeah. Niagara Falls but, in Canada? Yeah. No, no, Niagara Falls. <laughs> Niagara Falls in Buffalo. No, it this. That's what I'm telling it's you. It's somebody lying. It's sit on both sides. Side. Oh, it's two man. sides, Jack. Two oh, sides. you swam to the other side. No, oh. bro, <laughs> Buffalo driving, bro. I'm telling you what okay. I know, bro. Listen. <laughs> Listen, bro. You come through Buffalo driving, that's how you get the five view. That's yeah. when you see. I got the, some Buffalo people. The, the, it lighting up at nighttime yeah. from the other yeah. Canada side, bro. I'm yeah. telling you, Jack. I know you better than that. Stop <laughs> playing, man. I know. I know your nah, geographic bro, bro, is better bro, than that, bro. It's like, but. If you don't, if you don't go nowhere, it's like, man, I got a lot of friends that be like, man, I got a record, man. You know I'm a felon. I can't go nowhere. No, I'm like, nigga, we just going to the. They don't know no different. Let me tell you what keeps you from they, trapping. Because you trapped in the mind. Um, but child support. The child support. Uh, child uh, support, boy. So you supposed to get you. You've done. You ain't going nowhere. You got to take care of your kids. You got to huh? take care of your kid, baby. No, you got to pay for them kids. That's what it is. You got to pay for. You can be on child support and still travel, but if child support. Take your passport, cause they'll suspend your license. Yeah. Once you get hit with, not on child support, you can be on it and still travel. But if they hit you and take your passport can't and all be that, no arrears. ain't nothing. Yeah, <laughs> ain't nothing. Folk. Come on, bro. You have you been to Africa, bro? I'm going to Egypt. Okay. It's, it's the same thing, Africa, yeah. bro. Africa in, in it's, it's Africa is Africa in Egypt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother. Okay. Africa is the continent. Egypt is a country. You feel me? What but city yeah. was you going to? I'm going to Cairo. Cairo. Oh, but I got to see people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It don't make no sense to go to My Egypt if you ain't going to Cairo. Cairo. Well, what? Yeah I, yeah. I have to see this. Your son name Cairo. I have to see His this, name. Oh, I'm about to say, <laughs> nigga. I'm like, hold on. Hold you got another kid? <laughs> 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 you ain't talking about it. Not yet. August. August Cairo. Baby. <laughs> okay, get the middle name. I got you. But yeah, bro, it's like, I, I, I want to go to Cairo. see what you did, brother. I got to see it, man. There are pyramids scattered all over the world, though. There are. There are some in the Amazon rainforest. They are, they, mm -hmm. they all over the world. The Aztec, Incan, they, they all over so the world. So the same people that made those pyramids no. in Africa made no. these no. in the rainforest? No. no. It, 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 it wasn't no, you. um, bro, the, 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 the crazy thing that always, like, um, fascinates me, bro, is, like, there was no tractors or nothing, bro. Like they, that's what I'm saying. Crazy, the bro. They're all, they're all, they're all considered pyramids, but Some the ones, the Some ones that diamonds. you're, the ones that you're thinking of, as far as Cairo and the Great Pyramids, those are built with such precision that you can't get Talk, like man. this, this thin. You can't get this between the bricks. They lay bro. that thin in a precise location. Like they have picked up and rebuilt sections that were eroding. And couldn't put them back, even though they measured them, and they couldn't put them back. Like they got sunlight coming through a direct portion at a particular time of day that keeps the whole inside of these particular places lit. Mm -hmm. They picked them up and put them back, trying to help with dealing with erosion, and couldn't get it back in the precise location. And it's off by millimeters. Wow! All this gonna be on tape, right? Yeah, all this gonna be a bro. He, my, 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 my man, he been working at Home Depot for like. <laughs> <laughs> He, he no, reads. bro, because he, he reads. Reads. Hear the this, pyramids man. was made by the slaves then? Like wow. how they try to teach us? Um, the, the, like how you said, that precision and at the slavery, same. they don't got the stuff that we got at, on today's date, and we can't even remake Re it. You can't remake it. I don't bro, think I heard, pyramids was made by but slaves. But the thing is, is that it's a, lot of, it's a lot of different stories. Man, I heard telekinesis. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, oh. bro, exactly. Come on, I've bro. I've heard telekinesis, sound, vibration. Because exactly. we do it's only like, use, like, what? Six percent of our brain. Maybe back then they tapped into thirty nah, percent. We're using a lot Egyptians, more than forty. What percent of your brain we use? I use 40. like twenty five. No, you know. You sure about that? No, you know. you saying twenty five sure cent? No, you know. <laughs> you say you use twenty five cent? Twenty five. Twenty five. Bro, the Egyptians, bro, the Egyptians, like everybody learned from even Moses in the Bible. It's, it says yeah. Moses studied under the Egyptians. In this nigga in the Bible. And Christians hate the Egyptians. That 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 That's makes cool. sense to me. They they was like around the same time. Y'all gotta but, watch the Zydeco Egyptians is the OGs, boy. The gotta game. Gotta watch that. The Egyptians is the OGs yes. of the game, baby. You feel what I'm saying? Even when Christ look, 
white thing is, it, it is no evidence of Christ after 12 to, to, to 30 years old. None. It's just talking about him when he was born, when he was 12, and when he came back at 30. Where he was between 12 and 30. He was on the run. Man, that boy was in Egypt. Mm. Boy was in Egypt. Duck Dolph. Boy, because the teachers of the... Bro, every, bro, everybody... Bro, Caesar. The Greek gods, bro. Everybody got their game. You know what? I didn't even Egyptians, think about that. Bro. That show sure ain't no the stories about Jesus being 12 and 16. and Exactly my point. None of that in 25. Bro, Queen Sheba cleared it to come learn some game from King Solomon. This is in the Bible, boy. Queen Sheba. Man, that's a man. It's like, but the the not saying I read just because I want to know. You feel me? So I read different books, different religious books, historic books because I just want to know. Okay. I'm not saying everything I read is accurate. Okay, right, I'm right, just saying right, I just right. like to know it. Well, same, yeah, I, I'm the same. I, I do it to I do it to antagonize the whole witness. You feel what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. So if I if I'm, I'm that's what I, I invite them in. I get out the, the, saying, the sweet tea. I be like, yo, y'all come in. Let's talk. you feed them hey, too. Hell yeah, because I want them to hear what I got to say. Because I want them to know what I know, and I want them to try to tell me what they think they know. Because if I'm if I'm spitting, woot, woot, I was yeah, wondering yeah, how you became a Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. I duck them. I don't. I'm non-denominational. I say something just so people can like look it up. Shit, I just met a Muslim chick on Christian Mingle. Trying to say it to sound smart, nah, man. I'm gonna say this. <laughs> I'm just, I'm on I just Mingo. met this Muslim chick on Christian Mingle. So what's going on? You gonna <laughs> put a ring on it or what? No, you know I'm married, Jack. I'm talking shit. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I look? Like, what? <laughs> what is it? Muslim chick. It's, on plenty, it's plenty 2023, of baby. On Everybody's doing it. Yeah. Everybody. You doing it too, Jack? No, girl. You on, you on POF? <laughs> girl, you stop. You on from the event? talk about something. Hey, but on the real, You're man, I, I feel Let like this, this was okay. a, a necessary topic, bro. Because yeah. people talk about it. There's a lot of stuff you can talk about, bro. Oh. It's like, you never know. Had I came in here and we just vibe, I want to know, bro, that deep. I want to know you that deep interested. You feel me? Yeah. Bro wouldn't have never asked these questions. Hey, she wouldn't have, because it's like. What about me? Bro, I just said you, brother. Am I deep? Yeah, brother. Okay. <laughs> That's my brother. You, 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 you were part of the conversation. Because yeah. it's like, bro, yeah. it's something inside of everyone who wants to know. So somebody can say a word and people be like, you feel me if I, if I say Agenda 21? And it's like, you might not ask me what it means. But you gonna look. You don't go look yeah. that shit up. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? You're gonna be like, Gender 21. <sighs> I want to ask him, but I don't want to sound dumb. Matter of fact, <sighs> go you ahead. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, but like Christopher Columbus, and we talk about the Portuguese people. When he came here, he had to get sanctioned from Brazil because he had to cut through to get over here. Mm -hmm. But that's he couldn't even just come over here. Mm -hmm. But when he came here, the niggas was already over here. Or is it called is it called Columbus Land or is it called America because of America Vespucci? What? I, I see what you did, my brother. No, he know. He know. Because <laughs> that's the real name. That's the real name, and that's who was already here. Man, that man know what he talking about, man. Orientation, man. baby. Orientation. <laughs> Home <laughs> Depot. 16, bro. Yeah. What? I learned that in the chain game when I was 16, man. That man know what he's talking about, man. And at the same time. You got 13 colonies, there's only 13 states. Because mm -hmm. why? Because Napoleon had it in a chokehold, bro. Mm -hmm. Nigga, exactly. from Louisiana, Chicago, Detroit, all the way up to Canada, where Napoleon had all that. Conquered everything. All that, boy. That's why it's called the Louisiana Purchase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's and why it's called that, man. And that's why when you go to Louisiana, it got places on, uh, they call people from Louisiana Daily Creole. Young. Creole. My mm -hmm. mama Creole. They call, mama exactly Louisiana. my point. Why? Because Napoleon tried to put Haiti in a chokehold. He tried to put Haiti in the so they the French had Haiti colonized for about 400 years, but when Napoleon came, he tried to double back and put them back under slavery, and that's when they took them to war, and it, it wasn't happening. So when he took them to war, Nat, Nathan Turner, Nat Turner, he heard about it in Virginia, and that's when he popped off in Virginia because he heard what the Haitians did in Haiti. You feel me? Yeah, man. One no phones or nothing. It just traveled. Yeah. It just travel, baby. You feel what I'm saying? And then the French, they had went bankrupt. So they sold everything from Louisiana on up in the middle. Because everything on the West Coast was Mexico. Yeah. Facts. All that was Mexico, man. All that was Mexico. You feel me? From Louisiana on up on Chicago, 
Um, Miss, uh, uh, not Mississippi, uh, Chicago, um, uh, certain parts of Texas, certain parts of Texas. Some of that was Mexico too. You feel what I'm saying? All the way up, bro. Napoleon had it colonized, bro. But when he had got in debt, he sold it to the United States. That's why it's called the Louisiana, Louisiana Purchase. Purchase. Mm. And they got the best and house. that entire thing, bro, the entire Louisiana <laughs> Purchase is a boot. It's a, like yeah. an actual boot. You feel what I'm saying? But when he sold it, boom. The people in Haiti, they had um, revolted in um, uh, 1804. They revolted. A lot of them came here. It was white slaves in Haiti. Yeah. Because um, the Dominican Republican was uh, attached to Haiti. Man, I'm telling you this facts. They it's, it's attached, man. Dominican public, Haiti, right here, boom, they was cousins, they was attached to each other. So you the can. Spanish people and Dominican Republican, they was white. So they escaped here with the Haitians and they had sex together and now all the Creole. Creole. Yep. Mm. You can watch that shit change. Facts, boy. From the DR to Haiti, like I'm Cascade telling you, and man. Cascade. Mm. I'm telling you, bro. It's my, like my mama bro. made a name, Ganges and Pichons and Man. Every city in the in New, right. uh, New Orleans is based off of them weird French names and shit. Like, you, Bro, everything you saying, they got somewhere in Louisiana uh, in, in in New Orleans called the French Quarters. Yeah, the yeah, French yeah. Quarters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like when you was, you feel bro yeah when you in the dr and you drive over to Haiti you can watch that shit change like cascade to cascade <laughs> for real mm-hmm. yeah. it changed just like that in the, in a line bro real and you'll know you in you you know you'll know you in a derelict area just that simple. Man, thank y'all for having, bro. I like this yeah. conversation, dog. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just this, being this real. This is better right? than all of them that, That's what we be doing. We nah, be, bro, we this, been this, talking a long this time. This is necessary, hey, bro. Hey, uh, I don't want to switch topics too much. No, no, no. Hey, said do your Haiti, thing, my brother. When y'all said Haiti, it made me think about Kodak. And I recently seen you had linked up with him not too long ago. He was giving y'all your flowers and stuff, man. I just want to ask you, how did it feel, Uh, you know, like have young, younger generations and like, you know. I'm glad it's on tape. I'm Them glad it's on tape. Up, looking up to you and, and giving me your flowers. I'm glad it's on tape. Um, it's a dude who up under. Nah, I don't want to say up under me like I'm above anyone. You yeah. feel me? But I give him. You his above game. them, brother. You above. Man, I you above. I don't want to say that, brother. Say it. Like I give. I teach him. Mm. You feel me? His name Eli. I teach him. Okay. He teach Kodak. Yeah. So mm-hmm. the game yeah. that I. I'm the reason Jack know he Hebrew. Yeah. I'm the reason that album was called Bill Israel. Boy, that boy ain't know he know Israelite to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Glory to the Father, boy. You feel me? Uh, so when we bumped heads, you saw the love. Yeah. But you saw the respect. You saw yeah. he was smiling. Yeah. And then when I'm like, the boy, boy, face got serious. Yeah. Face got serious. I told him straight up, man, I say, when y'all do it, they call it voodoo. Mm-hmm. When Moses did it, they call it an act of God. Y'all in the same tribe, baby. Levites. At the same tribe. That's why that's why Haitians are so spiritual. That's why they so spiritual, bro. Because they got a certain kind of connection with God. Every tribe is different. They got a certain kind of the 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 Haitians are the tribe of Levi, but they're the priests. They the priest. So everything that Moses did, they call it voodoo right now. But when Moses did it, it wasn't no problem. Everybody was clapping. Now when it's a miracle it, then. It was a miracle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now when these yeah. black brothers do it, these old, y'all looking at them like they evil now. Come on, man. Can't do that, baby. Can't do that. All of us got the same pigmentation, dog. We all need each other, man. We got to coexist, dog. G- give them two more. Give them two more. I'm vibing, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, listen. I know we on the time limit, but boy, who? I, I know. Hold on, we we, we we got a couple more. Yeah, we got a couple more for you, it man. Before you get really out of here, it ain't really so much about a time limit. It's just like you know, we we sit here and we hear the same stories over and over again about how you know somebody went to jail, they came home, they was in the streets, they did this, they did that. But the way that you go back to what you learned and the knowledge that you you've gained, and to be able to want to give that back to your community, that's a different conversation so these conversations are very necessary because a lot of times a black man is stereotyped as just being mm. dead or in jail mm. you know either you're going you're going either leave six feet under or you're going to go back to jail and the, the fact that you actually went and you did your time and you saw how you needed to redeem yourself and then come back out here and still want to educate and give that love back to somebody else like that speaks volumes about your character and who you are you know we can sit here and glorify all the bricks that have been sold and how much money's been made but whose lives are being changed in the wow. process of all of these things wow. you better eat 
Wow, that's deep. You better eat. You know? <laughs> Come on now. Uh, you know? That's deep. <laughs> yeah. That's deep. And, and this is how we're going to round it off right but, here, but man. That's, but that's amazing. And I just want to personally, you know, say thank you, you know, for coming in here and not wanting to go with the mold of what everybody else would have done, you know. And, you know, no disrespect to any guests before this, but the fact that you are that comfortable with yourself that you wanted to start this podcast out with prayer not even caring about what anybody else's, you know, religious beliefs were. That just says a lot about you as a man, that you're very comfortable with who you are and you're not going to shy away from that for anybody, no clout, no nothing. So I commend you for that. For Thank sure. you, sister. Appreciate you. We live in a world where people are dying to fit in, you know. Mm, so it's wow. it's amazing to see somebody who that's doesn't mind being able to stand that's out. That's my friend. You know? That's deep. <laughs> that's <laughs> in that school. Check H. <laughs> Hey, but this this is how I want to round it off though, man. Because you know everybody heard what you said earlier about how you um you you didn't believe in God anymore. But how did you find your way back to Him? Ooh, and before we get on out of here, that's a great. And question. then you close us in prayer. Mm-hmm. That's a great question, brother. Yeah. Yes, Lord. It was people made me start believing. They made me start believing back because yeah. Take your time. Take your time, brother. At the beginning, I was faking because I saw all the views. So I kept putting the music out, but it was changing them. But I still had beef with them. I'm talking like 2014. I still had beef with God, but I'm in the car to my, thank you, God, such and such. And I got beef with them, bro. And nobody don't even know it. And they like, pray for me, man. And I'm like, I wasn't even praying for myself. I'm going to pray for you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. This is how I was feeling. So I started reading all them comments, bro. Man, your music, man. I got my son listening to your music. Your music is changing my... my... Nigga. Boy. Boy, hey. Boy. Boy, I got on my knees, dog. Boy, I had that for forgiveness, bro. Because I was wrong, dog. You know what I'm saying? And I know he forgave me because, like, I felt I felt the weight lift off of my shoulders. Mm-hmm. And the weight, the weight was that I was playing with him, bro. Mm-hmm. It was I couldn't even look my I can't I can't look in the mirror. When I looked, I saw another nigga. I saw a fraud. When I looked, I saw a fraud, bro. Like, nigga, you know good and well you want to go back out there and hustle. But you telling these people don't do this. You know what you want. I wasn't doing it. But the thought, the thought, mm-hmm. the thought, man. You feel me? Uh, a, a wise brother told me way back long ago, he say, you can't stop the bird from flying over your head, but you can stop it from building a nest. You can't stop the thought, but you can stop yourself from acting on it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You may be, you may have a woman and want to cheat, but will you do it? Mm-hmm. You may be broke and want to sell drugs, but will you do it? You feel what I'm saying? So it was the people. I ain't, it wasn't me. I ain't about to lie. It was no one said I had it. Bruh, I be lying, bruh. Bruh, I was faking. When I saw them millions and millions of views and I wasn't even getting no money, bro, I was faking, bruh, because that attention, attention, being addicted to people watching you is more addictive than crack cocaine, I believe personally. Mm-hmm. So it's like when 2015 came, a dude named Randy Jackson reached out to me from American Idol, the black dude who was on there. Mm-hmm. He be like, it's a no for me, dog. He reached out to me. He say, brother, bro, don't sign a deal. I'm like, what? What is you talking about? He say, they going to sign you, but they ain't never going to put you out. Keep going. We need you. I'm like, but it's American Idol, dog. I'm like, yo, this is crazy, bro. So I prayed. I say, God, the minute that I start thinking I'm better than somebody because I got likes and views, or the minute I start to try to have sex with females because they think I'm getting likes and views and I'm popular, take this from me. Take it. The minute I think I'm better than somebody where I try to use it to have sex with people, with female, man, take it from me, bro. And I've been on the straight, the up and straight since 2015, dog. I ain't got no smut on my name. I ain't got no allegations. No female can send no pictures of my private part from no inbox, bro. Bro, when I say on the straight and out, bro, can't nobody say nothing about me. But it ain't because of me. It because of him. I don't, bro. I don't want to look in the mirror and see a fraud, dog. I can't do it, bro. 
I can't do it. I don't want to be no hypocrite, bro. I don't want nobody to catch me smoking if I'm telling black people don't smoke. Mm-hmm. I don't want to catch nobody see me pissy drunk if I'm saying, listen, bro, be careful what you put in your body. Bro, I got to be I gotta be on my game so I can be a good role model to the people, bro. I know, I know that was a long answer, but no, I'm no, no, that's a real, good, don't bro. Don't do that. Don't, yeah, you no, that was very uh, mm-hmm. much called for, man. Um, being real, you dog. didn't you didn't have to throw the girls in there. You, <laughs> you, 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 you no, that, been listen, now, black right, man, go ahead. I'm that's sorry. very <laughs> necessary, brother. Because at the same time, this I this, this I don't what like I, jacking off. This, listen, this is what I believe, bro. Go for it. This is what I believe, brother. Put, put me on. I believe that sisters really want to submit to dudes. This is what I I could be wrong, but I believe this though. No, we do. That sisters really want to submit to a brother. The but right at the same time, the right one. who are if you say, come follow me, she can ask you where we going. I'm talking about in life. Where you We're going to the top, me? baby. If you I'm talking about in but you life. gotta believe in me, she baby. Can actually, she can actually ask you that. Mm. If you be like, listen, baby, let me drive. And she say, Listen, I trust you, but where you taking me? She can ask that. What would your answer be? Not nothing funny. I'm dead serious. I'm, I'm talking t- about. I'm, I'm gonna say to the top. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna say to the top. <laughs> Listen, brother. How we gonna get there? I'm talking about in life, bro. If she asks you, okay. Listen, I love you. We've been rocking for a minute. I love you. I'm I'm ready to submit fully to you. But can I trust you to lead me, bro? She can real life ask you that, bro. And and what and what if she do? It's like, uh, I got that. Do some of us feel like we we still got a few more females left in us before we want to just fall back with one? You feel what I'm saying? We want to wait till we been on ran the streets and want to fall back when we at a certain age and we feel we ain't got the vibe no more, but we still want her to look fine. No matter what, we still want her to look fine. You feel me? You don't see a lot of brothers who not even on no gay stuff. You as a man, you know when somebody raw. You be like, man, what's he doing with that nigga? You don't know. You don't know. You don't know how he treating her. Mm-hmm. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? At, at the end of the day, bro, you to fall and love. You can you can love somebody, but to fall and love, you have to love them first. Mm-hmm. The falling in the love process is gonna come over time. You can love her in a month, but not be in love with her. When you in love with her, you ain't gonna cheat on her, mm-hmm. nigga. As a man, I'm saying this lot. They gonna show this. Show this. Man, we gonna show a man all this shit. that's in love will not cheat on this woman. I'm talking facts. in love. Facts. I ain't talking lover. Yeah, facts. I'm talking in love. Yeah. I'm talking the text give you butterflies. The text message. The smile give you butterflies. She look at you. You look at her. You smile. She. Oh my God. That that right now, man. A man won't even look at another female, bro. I don't that's care facts. what kind of freak he is. That's facts. How much sex he love, bro. It's just something by her. It, it just do it for him. That's in love, bro. Okay. And that right there is a whole nother. That's that's yeah. All praise to the most high. Hey man, you better put us on your. I need to be on your Facebook, nigga. Once y'all do this, don't lie to me, bro. Bro, I'm dead serious. People need to hear this. God looking at you, bro. Bro, listen, brother. Put me on your Facebook, my nigga. My brother, right here. Once y'all chop everything up, send it in segments. Three minutes here. You better give us the real number, nigga. Bro, listen. Here's the real number, bro. <laughs> bro, I promise you, brother, people need to hear this, man. Because like Agreed. this is say, man, these conversations are necessary and they not being had, bro. You got to go. You got to hear Farrakhan. You got to listen to Umar to hear this, man. Mm-mm. Come on, bro. Now nah, they want to see us young. Mm-hmm. People tell it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Amen. It is Amen. what it is, brother. Mm-hmm. Can, can, can you take us out with a prayer, bro? Oh, I would love to. Okay. I would love to. I would love to. Father God, we come to you once again, Father. We thank you for the knowledge that was shared. We thank you for the laughs that were shared as well, Father. As you say, Father God, laughter is good for the soul. Somebody can be having a bad day and a good joke make them laugh and put them in a good mood, Father. We thank you for the laughs that were shared, Father God. We thank you for the new bonds that was built, Father God, the new friendships, Father God, that will emerge, Father God, from this conversation, Father God. We pray for the brother, Father God, Jack Thriller, Father God, and the podcast, Father God, that, 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 that you take it to new heights, Father God. We pray, Father God, that you be with us, Father God, that you take the things that's inside of us, Father God, that's not of you, Father God, that you let us draw Closer to you, so you will draw closer to us, Father God. 
I pray for every host, Father God, co-host on the show. Pray for the DJ, Father God. Pray that you continue to bless and be with them as well, Father God, and let them use this platform, Father God, not only to your glory, but to create change in our community because we know the viewers are watching. It's a big podcast, Father God. In the name of your son, we pray and we thank you. Amen. 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 DJ T-Rex, take us out with something nasty. Let's take some pictures. <laughs> the biggest. I want to reach my T-Rex. In order to know where you going, you must know where you came from. A lot of dope in the streets, and you want to slay some you. Want to pick up that Jack Thriller City. Oh, yeah.